This series of video tutorials are designed to help you with your group projects in SCNC1111. In the coming series of the videos, I'm going to teach you how to use GeoGebra to plot graphs and also to perform regression analyses. So before beginning with the tutorials, I'm going to tell you a story. Um, I hope you all know that enzymes convert substrate to products. So now let us assume that the amount of enzymes are fixed. When you have one unit of substrate, it will be converted to one unit of product in one unit time. So the rate of the reaction is one unit product per unit time. As you increase the amount of substrate, so does the rate of the reaction. But when you increase the amount of substrate past a certain point, there are just too much substrate for the enzyme to handle at any one time. And further increasing the amount of substrate will not lead to further increasing the rate of the reaction. There is a mathematical model to describe this situation, which goes by this equation as shown here. This model tells you how the rate of the reaction, V, changes with the substrate concentration, S. In this model, only V and S are variables. V max and Km are constants. We don't have to worry about their physical meaning at this moment. So V max and Km are constants. So in order not to confuse you, I just rewrite them as K1 and K2 if it makes it easier to interpret. Similarly, V and S can be replaced by Y and X. So in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to plot a simple graph with K1 and K2 both equals 1. First of all, you have to download an app called GeoGebra. So you go to this link, and then download the version that is suitable for your device. So if you're a Mac user, you click into it and go to the App Store. If you're a Windows user, then you can just click and download it. There are also versions for mobile devices. In GeoGebra, we can port graphs. In the input bar here, we can key in our function y equals x over 1 plus x. Using your mouse, you can drag around the graphics to explore the function at different values. You can also hold down the shift key and drag the y and x axis in order to rescale them. In this example, we are just concerned with the positive values of x and y. So you can also specify it under the algebra section. There are additional functions in GeoGebra that you can use to customize your graph. For example, you can right click on anywhere and then click graphics. From here, you can select the x-axis tab, and then you get label the x-axis. So in this example, our x-axis is S, and our unit is millimolar. We can also label the y-axis. So in this example, our y-axis is V, with the units molar per second. So we can see that the axis have been labeled with the units and also the label that you specified. In this example, you may want to show only the positive axis. So again, you can right click on graphics and on the y-axis tab, you can 
Select positive direction only. Similarly for the x-axis. So you can see the negative and x and y axis are gone. You can also add the grid lines. Just click on the grid tab and then click show grid. And change the line style to dotted lines. You may also want to change the color of the curve. So you can right click on the curve, select object properties, change it to green maybe. And then you can also change the line thickness. And you can also decide whether or not to show this label. You can track this label anywhere you want. Now you may also want to display the equation on this graph. The easiest way will be to drag this from the algebra panel to the graphics panel. So up to this point, you have a very nice looking graph. So if you want to export it, on the menus, you can click File, select Export, export it as picture, choose the format that you want to export, and then save. If you want to edit this file later on, you can save this. Thank you for watching this video. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about regression in GeoGebra.